Welcome to today's 16 Galaxies video. Um, today we have our icon batch um, for January 2024. And oh my god, um, is it a big one? So um, if you're in the 16 Galaxies group chat, um, you would have seen that I mentioned um, that pop culture got a couple of pop vinyls in stock. Um, uh, the Ahsoka TV series ones, um, and they did the thing where they put them up on the website uh, before Icon updated. Um, so I checked Icon this morning, and it looks like the Icon staff have returned, because uh, those pop vinyls have now rolled over, um, but when I checked our good old Hot Toys, the inner quantity has been updated, um, so we have our batch. Um, we were expecting this to be at the end of the month, not the beginning, um, but it does sort of make sense because our last batch um, was the beginning of the month batch. Um, now, uh, before I start going through them, in terms of the gap between us and um, Sideshow, it's this batch um, closes that gap to eight weeks. Um, it goes all the way up to um, the first figure not to come in is the Wolverine, uh, which which makes sense. Um, the only other one that's kind of delayed, I think, is the Kamen Rider, um, but I don't know if the standard version of him is, is out yet. I do know you can get him on Amazon Japan, and you have been able to get him on Amazon Japan for quite a while. Um, so he's the only real surprise. Um, I myself have four figures in this uh, batch, um, so I'm quite glad that I was reserved um, during the pop culture sale. Um, the pop culture sale now, that's the real question. Are they going to be stupid enough to put these up in the middle of a sale? Um, the pop vinyls they did. Uh, now, if I was a pop collector and I had pre-ordered my Ahsoka pops and I saw that I could have um, that they were on the website for 20% off, I would cancel my pre-order and reorder them at the 20% off. Um, surely, surely to God they're not going to um, drop these on the website before um, that sale ends. But they, they have done it before, um, quite a while ago, uh, when the Marty Einstein pack went up. Um, they sent out the invoices, and I remember seeing um, people post that they finally got their invoices, and I was like, oh yeah, sure, and then they put the spare up, uh, the spares up in the middle of the 20% off sale, um, so I actually got my Marty and Einstein uh, for less than what people pre-ordered it for, um, which was just absolutely insane, um, and I don't think it should work like that, but anyway, that's how it worked out. Um, alrighty guys, I have rambled enough, let's go through our um, batch. Uh, as always, I've separated them into Marvel, um, Star Wars, and then kind of just the outliers at the end. Uh, so we do have our Doc Ock Deluxe. Um, we have the... Oh, sorry, that should be the standard. Um, the Doc Ock Deluxe and Doc Ock Standard are both in. Uh, Goblin Standard. Goblin Deluxe, Electro, Kate Bishop, um, she was one that probably could have stuck in last month but didn't, uh, the Multiverse of Madness Strange, uh, the Diecasts Iron Man Mark III, um, the 1 is to 4 Gantry, I think we got the standard one, is, um, the standard uh, 1 is to 4 um, last month. Uh, Gilgamesh, Cobb Vance snuck in, that's right, Cobb fucking Vance snuck in, um, very interesting because his uh, Hong Kong price is insane at the moment and um, Pop Cultures is way cheaper than that, uh, the Inquisitor, I'm glad to see him as well, uh, and then um, the sideshow uh, Clint Eastwood, um, I think we already got the Preacher, but he's there as well. Um, and then uh, the Hot Toys um, Robocop. Uh, the only other thing um, I did notice is that the Clint Eastwood Premium Format figure uh, rolled over as well. Um, but I don't, 
uh, usually report on statues. Um, it is worth noting, um, I went through the list of um, Sideshow's first look videos, uh, which is where I picked up the, um, I forgot about the Robocop, uh, but it's where, um, like, Gilgamesh, um, I checked because he was out. Um, yeah, so the only uh, real surprise is how quickly we got Cobb Vant. Um, and it's what I was saying in my collection video, and it, it's the fact that people go, oh, but we're so far behind. But figures like this, we are not. Like, um, this Cobb Vamp has come out very quickly uh, for us. Um, and so the figures that didn't come out, like I said, the Reaver and the Wolverine and stuff, um, I looked and it's eight, um, eight weeks uh, between when Sideshow did their video and now. Um, so I imagine by the time they come in, it'll be 12 weeks. Uh, but 12 weeks um, is almost a nothing um, in terms of the weights that we used to have. Like I said, that Wonder Woman 1984, that took a year um, to come out uh, for us. So, um, and even, um, I want to say it was Ahsoka, uh, that had a really long wait as well. So, um, like three months. If they've gotten that year weight down to three months, that's um, pretty good. Uh, anyway, guys, um, I'll quickly fly through it again. Uh, so, Doc Ock, um, Deluxe and Standard, uh, Goblin, Standard and Deluxe, Electro, Kate Bishop, Multiverse Man is Strange, Iron Man Mark III, The One is to Four Gantry, <clears throat> Gilgamesh, Cobb Vant, Grand Inquisitor, Outlaw, um, Josie Wales, and Robocop 3. Um, so that the total of figures in the current um, invoicing period is 14. Uh, so I imagine it'll probably take them quite a while uh, to start invoicing us and stuff. But like I said, I would be very surprised if they do it before um, the 20% off ends. Because uh, that, um, I reckon that would just set them up for more issues. Um, and I mean, you should never discount new stock the day it comes out anyway. Uh, so hopefully um, they're smart enough not to put it on the website. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you found this information useful.